Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download Microsoft Office 365 to your home PC. So as you can see, I have a Windows 10 versions of home PC here. It's a Windows 10 home single language. This is the, the uh, Windows 10 editions for home. So to, to download Microsoft Office 365, um, you have to log into portal.office.com. So in the browser, you want to type in portal. And then hit enter. Portal.office.com. And it's going to prompt you to log in. You're going to have to log in with your company's credentials, your 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 work email address that they provided to you. So I'm going to log in with Adam at 0365.com. So this is the work email address, either your work email address or your school email address. It, they have to assign you a login credentials in order to download Office 365. And if you have Microsoft account, if you purchase the license, you can log in with your personal email address. So I'm going to hit next. I'm going to enter the password. Let's try one more time. Hmm. Stay in sign in. You say yes. All right. So now, once you're in here, you can click on Outlook to check your email, click on OneDrive to look at your contents, your data, your files. So to install Office, you have to click on Install Office right here at the very top. These icons here, these are considered an, an online applications, an online Office. So in order to install Office to your computer, click on Install Office and then click on the top one again you have to be an administrator on the computer in order to to install this applications I'm going to click close this one here is the exe just click on it User access control, confirm, click yes. Office 365 is installing. All right, we are about 60% complete. So while it is installing, um, you should be able to launch some of the applications. Let's say search for Word. All right, look like Word is not there yet. Let's type in Excel. Excel is not there yet. Let's give a few more minutes. As you can see, the installation has completed. You all set Office. It's installed now. I'm going to close this windows, minimize the browser, and close this one. 
And if I click on the start icon here, I should see all the Office uh, recently installed. And if you look at this one here, it says recently added, Word, Office, um, PowerPoint, expand, you got one node, publisher, access. So I'm going to launch Word. You have to activate um, the applications. So to activate the application, you're going to have to log in with your your work email address, the same the same email accounts that you log in. Click on sign in. Adam, it's the same account that I that I log into the browser. Oh, three sixty five two. Next, click OK. <clears throat> I think I entered the wrong password. Let's try it again. Here it is. Use this account everywhere on your device. Um, so this one you have to confirm. Allow my organization to manage my device. This will remember your account. You don't need. I don't think you need to um, allow your organization to match match your device. So you can just uncheck it and click yes. If your company has a policy that they need to manage your device, you're going to have to click that previous box, the checkbox. So it looks like it's all done. Click OK. Getting ready for getting office ready for you. Accept license and agreement. Click OK again. As you can see, the let's go click on account here, and it looks like the office has been update, um, activated. As you can see right here, it's belonged to Adam at o365.com. So that's it. That's how you install Office 365 on your home PC and then activate using your your work credentials or your email your work email address thank you for watching if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day